Hi everybody, it's Christina and thank you for joining me today. Now this is the size that I've been asked on several occasions to bring out. In this new set you get an A6 card and box die set. You also have the opportunity to make a flat fronted envelope with its own card. There are circular sentiments, layered nesting dies and these are alternate with stitched and plain labels and you've got the borders. So for this video we're going to use the, the flat fronted envelope and we'll create a card that goes with it. So there is the bit that will help you to create the card and this is the bit with the box. These panels will help you to create different patterns for these extra pieces and of course this is the front. And this one will help you to create the label to stick on the front of your envelope. So let's get busy and cut these out. So these are the pieces that the dies will cut out. Now these pieces can either be added to a separate panel, they need to be cut out with this die because there's no cutting edge around there. The same with this, this can be added to, um, to the card itself or to a separate panel and then add it to the card. It's entirely up to you. This is the bit that will sit in the middle of your label. Should you wish to add the label to the design. And if you wanted to make the card, then you would need to cut two of these and you can glue it either down the side, the long side or down the short side. It's entirely up to you. So for mine I've cut two panels and I've put the two centre pieces in the middle of the white um, card. I've also got my card created and I've put my hinge at the top. But for underneath these I've used the same die and I've cut a panel in blue. And that's going to sit underneath these panels and that will be one for the card and one for the envelope. And they will sit along there. So from this set I've taken the two flower dies and I've cut myself several flowers in blue and white. I've used the flourishes and cut those in silver but I have cheated a little bit and I've taken the leaf die from the box set and cut myself some leaves to go with the flowers. So before I add any of these to my card I just want to add some shape into the the items. Now because I want my card to fit inside that envelope I can't afford to have it too bulky. So I'm just going to go around the edges of a blue and a white and then we can layer these together. So I'm going to layer my flowers up so that I have blue on the bottom and then white there and I'm just offsetting the petals just a little bit and then I'm going to put another white one in there with the blue on top and that will give me some flowers then that look like this so I've stamped my sentiments out and from the little die sets I've cut one of each colour so I'm going to flat glue this to the blue one and then with some foam pads underneath these I'm going to add these to the top. So now I can start to add everything together for my card. So we'll glue this in place. So we'll add this to the card base. And that can stay there. We can add the sentiment to the top and then around the sides we can decorate it with the flourishes and the leaves. And we can add the flowers in. So I've made three for each item. So I'll go away and glue these in place and then I'll come back to you and we'll create the envelope. 
Now to the centres of my flowers, I've just added some little chrome dots and that's my card now finished. So let's go on and make this envelope. So we can make sure that's completely in the middle. There we go. And now we can just bend these sides in. So we can use the crease lines and fold that in. And this side. And the top. So the longer piece is at the bottom, so we can just add some glue down these sides. Just along there, glue that down. And that's the top that folds back. So now we can just pop in these um, flourishes and we'll do them the same as the, the card front. And we'll leave room for the sentiment to just be off centre. Now we're going to add in the flowers. Tuck in the leaves and put the chrome centres into the flowers themselves. And so there we have our card and our matching envelope. Because there's not a lot of bulk on the front of this, you will find that it fits into your envelope really easily. And then you can close that up and that's now ready to send. So if you wanted to put this through the post, you could leave the flowers off and instead of having the sentiment there, you can add your address label and pop that on the front. But that's a very nice way for somebody to get a birthday card from you that's in its own envelope. So there's my finished card and its envelope and the items that I've used are the flat fronted envelope die set and the circular sentiments and they're from the new A6 collection. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.